What's up, my DoorDash gang? What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al, coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do, family? Hope everybody's doing well. I am doing wonderful this morning. I'm doing great on this Keeping It Real Monday. Had a great night at, um, at work last night. Yeah, we was there for a little bit. It was heavy, man. We ain't get off till 3. I ain't get home till 3.30. That's a long time, man. We started at 1 o'clock. Boy, tired. All right, shout out to um, all the hard workers last night. And Coca-Cola, appreciate your hard effort. I know we don't get a chance to tell you that much. Uh, but good job last night. Neil, good job last night. I ain't parking on a handicap spot. We're going to get our coffee real quick. We got to order the 7-Eleven. I mean, not 7-Eleven. Oh, I'm launching. We got an order to um, McDonald's. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and mark this. I get my coffee. What time we gotta be there? Oh, we got time. I don't need to mark it. Hold on, they sent me. Uh, I got a message. What's this message? Can you make sure it's Sure is great deal, yes. So they were they must got some biscuits doing. Mm. Alright, fam, I'll be right back. I'm trying to get myself together. That's why I'm getting my coffee now. I'll see you in a minute. I'm back, family. I got another 15, Trini. Baby girl doing a great job making my coffee, man. So happy with this cup, man. Mm. Oh, God, it's good. First, I want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning. It's truly a blessing to be on this earth one more again. You know? Shout out to my man. Uh, who was it? Picard? Was Picard? Did, uh, hold on, let me see. I think it was Picard. All right, we got Freddie in the 800 Club, even though he missed two days, I believe he said. Still great, man. Sorry, homie. That's right, little mama. We're cutting them off. We got to get to get to our destination. All right. That was a car, man. Car did 290 in one day. Great job, Car. Man, Bakari getting that money. I'm trying to get that Bakari and Freddie money, man. These guys out here grinding, man. That's what I like to see, man. You grind hard, you make me grind hard. That's what I'm talking about. My grind don't have the numbers that your grind have, but I'm grinding. <laughs> All right, they, the day, guys, is keeping it real Monday. If anything, getting on your nerves, the day is the day that you want to keep it real. I always use this example. You know, somebody at work, running their mouth, always got something to say. Today is not the day they say it to you. Today, you just keep it real. Look, man, you getting on my nerves, man. Every Monday, you getting on my nerves, man. Today is Kingfish keeping it real Monday, man. I'm keeping it real. You need to shut it up. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Not be trying to be ignorant. But when you say keeping it real to somebody, and you tell them what the problem is, I got a guy at work. Breath smell like your tongue kissed the skunk. I tell him all the time. Every Monday. I keep it real with him. When he come breathe on me, I'm like, look, man, I don't mean no harm. I don't know if you got a bad tooth or if you got hostosis. But today is not the day to be breathing in my face, man. Back it up. Talk to me from a distance. You need a mint? He always say no. But I keep it real with him. You know what I mean? And I got to the point now, I just run. You been here, Allen? Gone. Like Carl Lewis. 
Y'all remember when Carl Lewis tried to sing uh, the American anthem? <laughs> if you ain't never seen Carl Lewis sing the American anthem, guys, please, please look it up on YouTube. It will make you cringe. He tried to hit notes that nobody ever heard of. I remember that day, man. I forgot what game it was, but I turned the TV off. I couldn't watch it. It was embarrassing. He trying to hit notes that shoot. I don't, I don't even think they. I, I wouldn't even call them notes. I don't know what the hell you call them. Sound like somebody was trying to sing with nails in their throat. Sound like he was in pain, boy. I never forget that day. I never forget the day that Whitney Houston song. The anthem. I never forget when Marvin Gaye sung it. Good gracious. And I never forget when Carl Lewis sung it. I like to forget it. But that thing is embedded in my brain. Oh, coffee hitting, guys. Coffee hitting. Alright, this is our first order. I got started at 8 o'clock tonight, man. I, I got up late. Uh, I had to get some rest. Excuse me. I made in my mind I was gonna get at least five hours of sleep, getting off at 3.30. My wife looked at me, she was like, where you going? I said, I'm good, get up. She said, you better lay your butt down. Get some rest. We ain't built like that no more. I'm like, yes, honey. I lay down for a couple more hours. Made her happy, made me happy too. Ben, but don't break is in the 200 club. He just did a few orders and now he's in um, in Annapolis, Ohio, Ohio. Ben, but don't break said Ohio gas is a dollar and ninety two cents. I'm going to Ohio. You know, his daughter is playing in the um the um, college. March Madness. So if he come to Tampa, we're gonna hook up like we did the last time. She played for Indiana. So make sure y'all root for Indiana. She's truly a star. When you got great parents, you can accomplish anything. I mean that. All right, guys, we here at McDonald's. I'm gonna run here and get this order. I gotta let my phone charge I left my phone in her car all night. Ashley, 6831. 6831. <laughs> Come on, where you going? Watch how you turn that little car. I hate people drive little cars like it's a, 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 a limousine, a stretch limo, turning all wide. Ain't no sense. All right, family, I'll be right back. I'm back, family. It didn't take long. It was ready. Let's get this to Ashley. In the code now. Alright. B. So, shoot. We only going right up the street. Not even a half a mile. Quarter of a mile. This lady in um, Dunkin' Donut talking about um, 
she used um, two men in a, in a truck to move her furniture and stuff, the um, moving company. And she said that they took all her jewelry and the company is not trying to reimburse her for her jewelry. But lucky she got insurance and she took pictures of everything that um, was supposed to be moved. So, and she filed um, criminal charges against the moving company. That's messed up, man, when you allow people into your home and whatnot. They discover a little something, then they just take it. That happened to me and my wife. They took my wife watches and stuff. Is this it right here? Aw oh, man, did I miss my turn? Oh, son of a sea biscuit. Yeah. I missed my turn. Can I get in on the other side? Alright. I missed my turn. I told you it was a quarter of a mile and I went right past it. Del Rio. I make sure when I go there at nighttime, I'm scrapped, man. That's a rough neighborhood right here, man. Yep, Del Rio. Rough neighborhood. Especially at nighttime, man. This neighborhood here. It's better have some heat. Yeah, try you here, man. This is apartment B. Alright. I got the little thug. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna leave my camera running because you got to leave your camera running in this place, man. Big Rick, you know which apartments I'm talking about on Sly, Sly Avenue, Del Rio. What is it, Sly and 50 Street? Place is rough, boy. You gotta get in and get out. Took care of our first order for seven dollars. Just got another order for seven fifty going to Wendy's. All right. So right now I'm averaging seven dollars an hour. Goal is real simple: get as much as I can before I go to work today. That's my goal. Foods right here. I forgot U.S. food is this close. High school kids, man, they be out here at McDonald's like it ain't no tomorrow, man. They be getting this food over here. Yeah. Speaking of the devil, two men in a truck ripped that woman off. I forgot how much money she said. I was being nosy. She looked at me like I was one of the movers. I'm like, hey, man. 
This, oh, this the new Wendy's. Is it open? Yeah, it's open. Shoot. This Wendy right here, man. It's small, but we going to it. All right. Shoot. We're going right here. This ain't the Wendy's I'm supposed to go to, but Wendy's is Wendy's. You know what I mean? Let's see what they put. Oh, the day. I got to go to Wendy's anyway. Honey biscuit. Is this for my boy? Oh no. Nah. Okay. Need two honey biscuit chicken combo. Hot coffee. Hot coffee. Both of them, but what you call? It. They said it's chicken biscuits. It's bomb. All right, guys. So today is the ninth. You got coupons that you can use this morning. You got a free coupon book. Go to Wendy's. Tell them Kingfish sent you. <laughs> nah, it's for anybody. One free breakfast. It's, it's for free. That's what it's going to say. Make sure you get that Wendy book. It's for the whole month of, uh, of March. All right, family. Be right back. I'm back, family. All right. Let's see where we're going at. Okay, university. Okay. I know what that is. Text me when you're outside. Okay, no problem. I can follow directions. That's one thing I'm good at, following directions. You can't follow directions, you're going to be in trouble. Come on. I'm going to Wendy this morning. Get my two free what you call. They can get mad all they want because I'm coming with both coupons. I'm like one for the wife and one for me. You don't like it? Sorry, Charlie. Oh my God, this coffee is hitting. Everything is right. Man, I wish gas here was 192. Eight dollars get you a half a tank. I think that's what Bamba don't break here. Diane, what's up? I see y'all there supporting your daughter. I love that. This is the NCAA tournament, ladies tournament. Go Hoosiers. I think that's the, yeah, Indiana Hoosiers. I can't talk this morning, guys. My tongue is, is frozen. I really don't even want to work today, to be honest with you. Today is a good day, man. Alright, gas dropped down to 215. Dang, 192 here, you get five cents off at um at um uh, at shells. Man, I can fill my gas tank up, man. Family, and this and this on this video, tell me. What's the lowest you ever seen gasoline? I think the lowest I ever seen it was 75, 65, 75 cents. You know, I was, I'm from the 70s, so. That's the lowest I ever seen it, man. I remember back in the day, you go, I, I used to have a moped, but I didn't have it. My buddy Ren, um, he had it. And uh, we would go put $2 in the moped, fill it up. 25 cent and get you uh, 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 five gallons of um, gas in a can to fill up a lawnmower. Kerosene was 25 cent a gallon. 
was back in the day, baby. In Maryland, the lowest I ever seen it was uh, 99, 89, 99, I believe it was. We're talking about back in the early 80s, baby. You ain't had to kill nobody to go get gas. I remember, I remember back in the day, right? I used to have a little Chevy Citation. Eight bucks filled the whole car, right? If you, when people used to say, man, I just put $20 in my car. We were like, what? What you got, a Cadillac? Lincoln? What you got, a bus? You know, $20 in the car back then was a lot of gas. You had two gas tanks. <laughs> Shoot, $20 now is, is like, you can't, you put that in a small car and fill it up. Like, wow. We had never get back. And then, even back then, they was um, Exxon and bunch of cars was always reporting being so many million made so many millions a year now it's billions so i know they can afford to um drop this gas down stop playing Back in the day, even when it was 90 cents or a dollar, they were still profit. They were still making a profit of millions and billions of dollars. I'd like to be an owner of a gasoline station now. Gas like cigarettes, man. It just keep going up. Pay all that money, then you die. Sorry, guys, that smoke. I don't knock it. If that's what you choose to do, that's what you choose to do. Back in high school, man, all my Caucasian friends smoked. It's like, here you go, Lee. Take a hit of this. Like, man, you don't get that out my face. I come home smelling like smoke. I'm gonna get a whooping. Straight up. I'm, I thank God for my mother, man. I ain't lying. My mom let me drink bottles and James. I think I had turned, I think on my 18th birthday, I had a party. I had one of the baddest party at Flag House history board at my friend house, Nancy, on the 10th floor. Had a bad party, boy. We had that joint packed. My man John was my DJ. Man, we had that joint pack, man. We had a good party, man. Yes, sir. I had the girls that back then want to fight. Yes, sir, boy. They wanted to dance with the man. We ain't had no fights at the end. It was nice. It was beautiful, man. Mom let me drink bottles and James. I'll never forget it. <laughs> yep. She back then, Mike Hart, Mike Lemonade Hard Lemonade got me to up. Yes, sir. It's a good party, man. Just turned 18. I remember that. It's probably all I remember when I was turned 18. It's what I had to drink and uh that bottle, I mean uh in that party. I remember what I had on. I had some um, Bill Blast jeans on. I had some all white um, um, classic 
Reeboks with a Reebok shirt on. I remember that. With a Calvin Klein belt. <laughs> yep. I was fresh. Fresh to death. Yes, sir. Alright, guys, we're here. What sweet we want to? Because I got text this out from my dad. Sweet 140. Or she want me to bring it in or just text it when I'm here. I'm gonna text it when I'm here. Is you going up or are you going down? Come on, man, drive that car, man. She be Christmas. Yeah. Alright, let me start over. The numbers was going in my favor and then they start going up. Alright. I was a loss now. Start back over. told me to text her when I got here and she caught up in an account so I had to take it too all right come on I need an order hook me up excuse me I don't like to wait there we go that's what I'm talking about chick-fil-a all right Let's get it cracking like Alright, we're going to Chick-fil-A. This order right here is 550. We're on our third order. I'm glad we ain't even got the weight. I get some gas too. Stop playing. I like as soon as you slide, the next order pop in. That's living right there, guys. That's living. Going to Chick Fil A. I need to stock up on some napkins and some other things.
we on the way. All right, family, so if you're dashing today, I need you to set your goal, hit your goal, get that money. You know, there's nothing like dashing when you have a goal. Try to make yourself a reachable goal. Don't say, uh, my goal is 200. If you can get 200, set your goal at 200. But if you can't, don't. Set your goal at you, that you can reach first. Then you start moving up and challenging yourself. But don't make no ridiculous goal right off the break. All right, family. All right, guys, it's been real. I got to go. Don't forget today is Kingfish, keeping it real Monday. If I miss your um club, if I miss your um, money for your club, I'll shout you out tomorrow. I ain't get a chance to read some of my stuff. I've been busy. I just got up, so I ain't get a chance to go in there. Look, I can't do it real quick. Let's see. <laughs> Well, I do it tomorrow, guys. If I miss shouting you out, I do it tomorrow. All right, family, I got to go. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Al. I'm out, guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing, you better get yourself some dashing grub, man. All right, family, peace. Love you. Yo, set them goals. Hit them goals. Peace.